Hello, I'm Sophie D'Souza and welcome to my channel, Sophie Stained Gloss. I've done a series of videos recently about designing on a computer and this is a video focusing on Photoshop and how to drop real glass samples into your drawing so that in the end you end up with a design that looks like a real stained glass window which is quite cool and crafty. Um, there are programs like Rapid Resizer and I think it's called Glass Eye um, that do have their own um, glass palettes that do all this but I just wanted to show you that you don't need a specialist program this is um, a workaround really so um, I hope you find it useful um, and thanks for watching I wanted to show you how you can take real glass samples and apply them to your design using Photoshop. There's a few steps involved, so let me take you through it. The first thing you need to do is open your photo or picture or download of the glass you're interested in. So you go File, Open. Here are my glass samples that are in my downloads file. Um, I can't quite tell. I th think this is the one I want. So I open that. There it is. Now the next thing I do is select it. And then I copy it. So Command C copies it. That's a shortcut. And I go back to my drawing, which is this one, and I, I'm going to select the heron. And you tap in that using the magic wand. And this relies on your drawing being just a line drawing, and it will, t it will select everything within the lines. So I've selected that now, um, and I'm going to um, paste my... Um, glass that I just copied but you can see it's in front of it well I'm going to deal with that in a minute what I'm going to do first is I'm going to resize this sample so that it will be big enough to fill the entire heron so you go to edit transform scale and you just stretch it so that it's covering your heron there you go And then you tick here to say I finished. Now I have to put this layer with the glass behind the drawing. So I just move it down in the layers panel. Oh, I forgot to. That was silly of me. Very important step that I forgot. Um, let me just deselect um, the glass. So I've gone back to my layer with the drawing. I've got to get rid of this white. And there is the colour behind it. Now, there is one other really important step that you have to do. Let's select deselect. There we go. Everything's as it should be. Now, let's say I want to colour this part of the drawing next. Well, if I select it using my magic wand, if you hold the shift down, you can select two at the same time. Now, if I get rid of that white, look what happens. You can see the blue behind, and that's going to be a problem for applying the next colour of glass. So let's undo that, edit, undo clear. Let's select deselect, because I don't want anything confusing my next instruction, because the next instruction is the important one, which is you go to uh, layer. And then you go right down to the bottom and you go merge down. And what this will do is it will merge this layer here with this layer here. So layer two with layer three, merge down. And once you do that, then this next one that you're going to get rid of by pressing the back button, hey presto, you haven't got any blue glass behind. Um, I won't try and explain <laughs> why that happens. Um, but those are the steps you go through. So let's do that again um, with another colour. 
So I've just I've just cleared the white colour from my design. I'm now going to um, open a new colour. Now they're all rather similar, the rest of them are all blue. There's not much I can do about that. Um, let's open this one because it's really just a teaching aid. We're going to select it all. We're going to go back to our design, which is this one. And we're going to paste. Oh, I forgot to. Um, uh, that one? No. <laughs> which one is it? This one. I forgot to copy. So, Command C. Now, let's. Now, I've actually remembered to copy it. I'll go back to my design. I'll go Command Paste. I'm going to resize it by going to Edit and transform and scale. I'm going to make it squatter. I mean, I suppose you don't really need to do this step, but because uh, what's not um, put behind the um, empty bit of the design will just disappear anyway. So actually, that's changed the texture a bit too much. So I'm going to just make it bigger again. So it looks more like the glass should look. So I'll tick that to say I've finished and I will move it down in the layers panel and there it is behind. Now that doesn't go. It's too heavy compared to these two colours. Um, let's merge it down to finish. So if I tap on layer 3 then when I merge down it will merge together with layer 4. So up to the layers, merge down, there we go. So let's say we've decided we want to get rid of this. Um, go to your magic wand and you click on it. But let me show you a really important adjustment you need to make. Up here it says tolerance. If I change this tolerance to 30 and I click here, it only reads the colours that are exactly this colour. Or if I tap here, see it's only picking up that very light one. So you've got to put the tolerance really high. There it is. So now I can press the back button and it's gone. Um, let's try a tolerance a little bit higher because it's not picking up the dark ones. I mean, you can just keep the shift down. Ah, oh, no, didn't like that because it's picking up. It's reading it as, as, as too dark. Let's try 115, see how that goes. Yes, that's okay. We've got a tiny spot here, but you won't see that. So you have to fiddle about with the tolerance to let you delete it. So that is how you can put real glass into your design. And hey presto, it really looks like a stained glass window. So I hope that's been helpful and useful. And um, yeah, give it a go.